Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here. What you see here may appear to be just uh, Lavis, and they are Porcelio Lavis, but there's something kind of special about these, and these are a Sonoran Desert locality. While I was on the uh, Sky Island Adventure this uh, summer, we found these, and uh, collected a few of these to, to start a colony because the Sonoran Desert locality mentioned in Oren McMonagall's book that they were very, very resistant to desiccation for isopods. And I thought these would be a great addition uh, to be able to carry these. When people ask for uh, isopods that do well in arid environments, one of my go-tos is Porcelione de Sprinosis. I've used them in arid environments with a lot of success. But it's always nice to have other options as well. And there are a few others I can recommend depending on the setup and so on. But these Porcelia labus, just like other isopods, if they don't have, uh, you know, some access to moisture, they can still dry out. But these are more resistant than most. And so it was the monsoon season. And these were, you know, not too far away from a body of water, but they were far enough away. And these have been... Uh, found in much drier areas. I've found them in much drier areas. And so I'm confident that I can uh, raise these, get them breeding. Uh, Peter and Jesse mentioned when we were down there at Sky Island Adventures that they uh, collected a few of these and got them breeding very easily. I don't have any doubts that we can do the same thing. And then, you know, I will still advise people they need uh, a moist area in which to uh, hydrate themselves. But at the same time, uh, they are much more likely to do well in an otherwise arid environment than many other isopods. One interesting thing I've noticed about this stock is that it seems to have some pale areas on its body on occasion. This one has, one on the left here, has one uropod that is a light color. That's interesting. This individual seems to have a partially white antenna as well as some white skirting, especially on the pleon on the back there. So this is just a very quick video today, but I wanted you to uh, get a look at these. I'm excited to begin working with them. I'd, I've never really worked with wild type lavas of any sort, and I'm happy to work with this Sonoran Desert locality. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams once a week as well. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you hadn't already, subscribe, and then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.